In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the dollar hang glider by John Tucker. Now you can download the instructions for this off the Origami Resource Center website, and I highly recommend that you download those instructions so that you can more easily follow this tutorial. I'd also like to take this time to remind you that this is an advanced model. Everyone, of course, is welcome to follow along and try and fold the model. However, uh, again, this is an advanced model. Many of the folds are difficult, and their difficulty is added to by the fact that many of these folds will be doing on very small parts of the model, uh, increasing the uh, difficulty level greatly. So again, this is an advanced model. Please keep that in mind as you try to follow along. Okay. So let's get started. This will be my dollar for the video. Hopefully, uh, this will help make the small folds easier to see. First thing we're going to do is we're going to fold the diagonal creases on the left side of the bill, almost like we were doing a water bomb. So we fold edge up, putting nice diagonal crease in, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, bringing this edge down to here. giving us a nice X. And now we're going to put a vertical crease right through here. So the crease will be right where this crease meets the edge, running to where this crease meets this edge. So using those creases as a guide, when you fold this over, make sure they also that this edge and this edge here line up. Fold it, you should have a nice X with this crease meeting the edges of the X. All right, so we keep that folded over and we're gonna fold this edge up to this folded edge. And if everything was done correctly, you should have a very nice crease pattern with everything meeting in the point. Just as if we're doing water bomb, but we're not doing a water bomb. And now we're gonna fold the bill in half, edge to edge, long edge to long edge. And that's what we should have right now. And now we're going to turn the bill over, taking the side with all the X creases in it, flipping it over. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some more diagonal creases just to the left of this vertical crease. Now an easy way to do that is to fold this under and then use this as the edge, bringing this up to here, making a nice diagonal crease. Unfold it and repeat on the other side. And you should now have a really nice X crease and water bomb style creases here. And what we're going to do is we're going to collapse this model on this X here using this center crease. And the way we're going to do that is turn the model over so that this point is facing you. And all you're going to do is fold in on this crease while you collapse these. These are using all the creases that you've already made. So you can see how this just collapses. This collapses into this. Again, these are all creases you've already made. This should fold in fairly easily. Again, we're looking at this side and it will just fold together like that. Go ahead and give those creases nice sharpening. And we're going to want a crease down this center. So just go ahead and open this flap, make a nice crease, do the same thing on the other side. 
probably helps if you keep that open, to make a nice crease down the center. And then we're back to this right here. Now, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to take this flap right here, just this top flap, and we're going to squash fold it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to push this open, and we're going to squash this down. And while we're doing this, we're keeping this crease right here, this crease right here, is going to line up on this center right here. So we open this flap up and we push this down, keeping this directly in line with this right here. And if you did it right, this corner will line up nicely with this edge right here. If this corner does not line up with this edge, there's a good chance that this crease here that I had you make just a, a step ago cheated out maybe like this. And so if that happens, you will see this does not does not line up. So if yours looks something like that, what probably happened is this cheated out and you need to put make sure that that crease stays nice up against here. So that when you when you make this fold, it lines up nicely. So you want to make sure that this crease here doesn't try and cheat out on you. And of course, we do the same thing on the other side. So we take this flap, I'll show it to you from this angle. It helps if you put your finger in there to kind of pop the flap open. You're going to push this down, making sure you're keeping this crease in line with this edge here. And remember, you want to keep this tight, this crease tight up against that. So you push this down, lining that crease up with this right here. And you'll see that this point lines up with this edge of the paper. And that's what we have now. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take this right here and we're going to pop it out. Make sure you hold this paper right here. I'm just going to pop this out like that. And now just go ahead and take this flap. So you wear it like this. Just take this flap and fold it out like that. So what we have is kind of like that. We have these two flaps and this off to one side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over like, like this. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to take this crease right here. That's a crease that you already have in your paper. And this crease right here, this crease and this crease, these two creases, and we're going to put a crease right in between those two. And an easy way to do that is to just pinch this crease, that's, that's the crease that's running perpendicular to these edges, and line it up with this center crease here. Sw swiveling on this point here. So we're going to take this and we're just going to swivel it up like this. So that it gives us this nice crease. So again, just pinch this and swivel it up so it meets. So when you open this flap up, it should be nicely parallel to these edges. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do something very similar. We're going to take this crease right here that we already have in the paper and we're going to line it up with this center crease right up here. And this point right here where this crease meets this edge 
is going to line up right on that point. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to fold it the paper like this. And again, this is on the crease we already have. And you're going to push it underneath. So you're going to make kind of like a pocket. We're going to push it underneath like this. Again, swiveling on this point until this point here lines up with this point here. And this crease right here will line right up on the center line of the model. So we rotate this in until that meets that crease. And all right, so again, we have this, and this is a crease right here that we already have in the paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up on that crease. And pivoting on this point, we're just going to push this under until this point right here, until this point right here meets that point. And this crease right here lines up with the center line. So we're going to push in, and then we push this down. OK, now from there, what we're going to do is we're going to make a pedal fold. And uh, on this side right here, we already have a crease in the paper. You can kind of see it right there. That makes pedal folding this side very easy. We're going to fold this side to the center like that. And again, that fold is already there. So that makes it really nice. And just go ahead and bring that fold to meet this edge. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing on this other side. Now unfortunately there's no crease there already so we're going to take this edge here and bring it to the center line making a point. Again if you know how to do a pedal fold this is really straightforward. And really get used to this because there's a lot of pedal folds in this model and you'll notice that it wants to open up so just keep it together as you make this pedal fold. So again, uh, you should be familiar with how to make pedal folds uh, before you really go further in this model because there will be many, many, and they will be very small. I'll do my best to show them to you, but it's best if you understand them before you continue. Okay, so I'll go through that real quick. This is what we have at the start of this step. And all the pedal fold is, is we're bringing this edge and this edge to meet the center line. Open that up. These go to the center line, and this should come to a point and push it down. And then we're going to fold this flap up. And that is what we, what we have at this point. Now, after we've done all that wonderful folding, all that's actually is is just pre-creasing. So we're just going to take this flap and we're just going to open it up. We're just going to unfold all of that and lay it to the side. And now this part is going to be a little tricky because we are going to open this up. Let's go ahead and open this up and we are going to collapse it on creases that we have made already. And the creases that we're going to use are this one here. And so you can go ahead and if you're looking at your model like this, you can go ahead and fold on, these, on those creases like this. And then we're also going to use this crease and this crease. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to push it like this. Now, if you follow along on the printed instructions, this is where it's really helpful to have the printed instructions. You will see these are va uh, valley folds. These are mountain folds. And 
we collapse like this and we want this diamond we want this kite shape so we fold there and this is kind of what we're looking at right here again it's much easier if you try this while following the printed instructions so you can see where those creases are and we fold that up so that is the collapse So again, I'll show that collapse to you real quick. Well, not really quick, but I'll show it to you again. Okay, so we have the model open. And it helps to start by pulling these in like this and really defining this kite shape. Fold the center and you can really get that defined kite shape and push that in and that's what we'll have. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this flap now and you're gonna squash fold it. So just go ahead. I'm just, I'm just putting my finger in just to open it up and fold this down. Now it helps while you're doing that to flip it over and make sure that these creases line up to make sure that it's lining up straight. Once you've got that lined up, go ahead. And fold it flat. Okay, we're going to create ourselves a nice uh, another flap by taking this and we're going to be folding up again on the kite shaped creases that we have in the model these creases right here. We're going to fold up make, now make sure that you're on the kite shape. See here right here it's taking the diamond shape. We don't want that. We want to make sure it's on the kite shape creases. And we're going to fold it down like that. And I'll show that to you again. After our squash fold into this, we're going to be using the kite shaped creases, not the diamond shaped creases, the kite shaped creases, and this crease right here. And you can see and we're going to fold it right across the kite top. So they will fold. And this will come together nicely like that. Okay, once we have that, we're now going to squash fold this, but not like that. Don't do that. If you see this, you're, you're doing it wrong. So stop. What we're going to do is we're going to take this corner right here and put that right here. So you start start to open this up, but again, don't 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 go to the full squash. We're coming and we're bringing this down to that point to make this shape. So again, this is what we have right here. And we're just going to open this up and take this corner and bring it down to this point here, like that. And now we're going to squash this. We're just going to open this up and squash it down. OK, 
Okay, now, if you take a look at your model, what you'll see is you'll see you have two flaps on this side and one flap on this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that extra flap and we're going to squash it. Like that. And now we're going to do the next of our many pedal folds. So, pull this up. At this point, I'm going to assume you know how to do a pedal fold, so I'm really not going to take my time to explain it. Now this one, we're going to take this triangle point and we're going to tuck it underneath. So go ahead and open that up, tuck this underneath. Like that. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're going to take this flap and we're going to fold it over. So now we have this lopsided diamond shape. Now we're going to take this flap and we're going to squash it. And we're going to pedal fold it. And this pedal fold, we're going to leave this pointing up. Okay, now we're going to fold back one, two, and this is our center. We can tell it's our center because it's got this flat because we tucked in the pedal fold. Three, and now we're back to this asymmetrical diamond shape. And we're going to take this flap and we're going to squash it and we're going to pedal fold it Again, we're going to leave this triangle facing up. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this pedal fold structure that we just made, and we're going to take the flap on our right and fold it over to our left, and what we'll see now is a nice diamond shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this on, a, on the top right, okay, so we have that diamond shape, and we're going to fold it underneath, thinning this part of the flap. So, go ahead, open this up, and this is where we're going to have a, there's a lot of paper in here now, so this gets a little tricky. So this is that diamond shape that we have, and if you open it up, you can see we have you know, there's a, a flap there, and there's a, a little flap there. That's how you, you know you're in the right spot. And we're going to fold this in. This is really, this is tricky. We're just going to fold this down. Like that. So you can see that's, that's what we're going to end up with. This is where we started and we just folded this underneath to the, to the center line here. So this is, this is what we see here. And now, 
what you're going to do is you're going to take this this flap here from the part underneath that is now visible because you folded this under and you're going to just going to go ahead and mirror that fold on the other side. So you're going to fold that in to the center. It's like you're you're folding a very sharp airplane point. So now when you close it, those two flaps are roughly the same roughly the same size. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the this flap here that is now the last flap showing and we want it to follow this edge right here. We want this flap to follow this edge. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to reverse fold this. So we're going to open this flap up a little bit and we're going to fold it back along the edge. Alright, so you see how I put a crease in that flap matching this edge. And what we're going to do is what I started to do before is we're going to open it up and we're going to reverse fold on that crease. Let's go ahead and just push down and that will follow the crease that you just made. So now this will follow. All right, and this, here we have where we folded these top edges in, and here's that reverse fold that we did. We're going to take this side here, and we're going to fold that in to the center, making that a little thinner. Now, we're going to do all of that on the other side. So, we're going to flip our points, and then we get to the center. We can tell it's the center because it, it's a pedal fold without a triangle because we tucked it in. And we keep going until we get to the diamond shape with no flaps. And you know you're there because if you go to the next one, you'll see your flaps like that. So you you're on the nice diamond shape with no no flaps or anything else extra going on there. And what you're going to do is just like you did before is we're going to thin these top layers, this one here and the one right behind it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to fold this backwards. like we're folding an airplane. So that is how it ends up. That's how it started. And that's the finish. And so on the other side, we want to fold that in to match the fold we just made. So that's the way it's it's going to wind up. So again, before we started, we had a really nice diamond shape like this. We folded this under, and then we folded this forward to match, like that. And now we want this piece right here to follow that edge right there. And so the way we can do that is we fold back so it matches and then we open this up and we do a reverse fold on those creases that we just made. So again, this is what we had to start with. Folded back to match this edge then we unfolded, we opened that up, and we made a reverse fold to follow this edge. Okay, now after we're done making that reverse fold, what we want to do 
is take this particular, this edge right here, that's that's opposite. See, we, we've, we've made this skinnier. We want to take the, this side here, the downside, the, the, the bottom side, and we want to make that thin by folding this into the center, like this. All right. So it's like that's what it should look like. This is this are the top edges we folded in. Here's the reverse fold we made. And then we just folded this into the center. Okay, now we want to get back to the center part of our model. And we'll do that by finding this pedal fold that has the tip tucked in. Okay, so now we are back in the center area. And what we want to do is we're going to mountain fold back these bottom parts. So we're going to fold that edge to the center so it looks like that. All right, all we did is we're on the center part here. We can tell by this flat edge with the tucked in point. And we're just going to uh, fold back this edge to the to the center line on the other side so it looks like that and we're going to do the same thing with this edge we're going to fold it back and so when you open it up you're looking like that now what we want to do is we want to take these parts that we just exposed by folding this back and matching them up. So we'll just take and fold into the center. And so when you fold back to the center, those flaps now match. So we're going to take these flaps here and make this one match this one. Open it up. Fold this to the center and go back to the middle flap. And you now see how they match up. You'll have this, which will become the leg, and this is the other leg. Okay, and now this stuff back here, all of this stuff actually becomes the arm. And so we have a little bit more work to do on that. Okay, now once we do that, you want to um, shape these pieces here that are sticking out. You can see how we have all these flaps thinned out with these two little parts right here and here sticking out a little bit and we don't want that so we're going to thin those the same way we've been doing these other ones is the top one we're going to fold backwards and the bottom one we're going to fold in so open that up fold that in and then the back part we're going to fold to the center and then we can close that flap. And if we go back to the center, to the middle section, you'll see now how we've gotten rid of the flap on this side. And we're gonna do the same thing here with this one. So we find that protruding triangle. We open that up and we're gonna fold to the center, like that, and we're going to fold to the center, so that when we close that up and go back to the middle layer, everything is now hidden all behind the same shape. And we still have these two bottom layers where we did the reverse fold hanging out, but that's okay, we'll get to those in a minute. 
And after all of that, we need uh, a nice easy fold. So here, take this corner, fold it up like that, and this corner and fold it up like so. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna tuck it underneath here. So just go ahead and open that up, tuck that in, close that up. That was our easy fold for the day. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this that is not, all this back section and how we're, a good way to get, make sure you get the right section is to take this part and fold it up because that will be the leg and we, we don't wanna work with the leg right now so we fold it up and go ahead and fold the other leg up. So those are now out of the way. And everything you have left over is going to be the arm. So you've got a lot of paper. You've actually got four flaps that compose the arm. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the center. So you have two flaps on this side and these two flaps on this side. Find the center and you're going to reverse fold that up. I'm just going to basically flatten it and push it up, doing a nice reverse fold. And as you're doing it, you can see how this gets pushed up. Go ahead and pull it up so that all this paper kind of lies flat like that. All right, so now you have this arm sticking up. Now you have uh, a lot of um, this paper right here is kind of wider than the rest of the arm and we're just going to reverse fold that to make the arm a little skinnier. And I'll show that to you again on the other side. So on the other side again let's take the legs and get them out of the way. So here's the, the arm section. We find the center of these flaps and we push up and this then folds the other way, which is why it's called a reverse fold. See how it's like this? We push up and as we're doing that, pushing that up, you see how this paper starts to fold, go ahead and fold that flat. Put the legs down. And we have an arm up and have this extra paper here. So just do a quick reverse fold to thin that paper out. And it's mainly, mainly a, a shaping folds that we're doing at this point. So whatever looks good is really what you're aiming for. If you want to twist things a slightly different way or tuck things in or just kind of fold things out of the way, go ahead and do that. The, the basic folding of the model is done and we're just kind of shaping things. So um, you can go ahead and give yourself some arms if you really want to try doing another reverse fold in here, uh, you can. Uh, things get, especially on dollar bill, things get really tiny and really, sometimes you just kind of bend it more than fold it to get however you want your arms to look. And, uh, you know, you fold up your leg, give yourself a knee and a foot. Give yourself a, a knee and a foot. And fold them to the side like that. Okay, now if you don't hate me yet, you will for the next move because we got to give him his nice head. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold down across the basically where his shoulders are. 
and then we're going to fold the point up in half like that not exactly critical where it winds up, but you really want to get these creases set as much as possible. Because what we're going to do is we're going to squash this down to give him his head. And if you're really lucky, you're going to be able to squash that down and make it happen, but probably not. So this is tricky, and I have no idea if you're going to be able to see me doing this but you have these little fins on both sides and what what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab just one of those little fins on each side and you're gonna pull and you can see his head is gonna start to inflate and so you find another fin on this side another fin on this side and pull and you can start seeing his head inflating and doing this on the dollar is very delicate now if you've got it enough as you push it'll start to open up go ahead and give them more encouragement again this is very tricky on the dollar uh, sometimes tweezers help uh, I should take that back all the tweezers always help now depending upon how you want to shape your guy you can give him a nice bulbous head or I like to try and start shaping his head into a more oval shape And I also try and like, I like to try and give him a bit of a neck. But this is, this is just shaping now. Uh, you've, you've got the model pretty much done. But every little bit makes it unique and gives it your own character. And if you stuck with me, you will now have a dollar hang glider.